And there are new developments in the police investigation into the ugly confrontation between a Melbourne schoolboy and controversial Senator Fraser Anning. Paul Dowsley joins us now. And, Paul, the 17-year-old has been interviewed by police. Peter, detectives caught up with Will Connolly, better known as Egg Boy, this afternoon. And a short time ago, he left the police station here with his mum and his dad and his lawyer. But what is not yet clear is who might be charged out of all of this. Will for smashing the egg, the senator for lashing out, or his supporters for holding Will down. Today, the teen's lawyer, Peter Gordon, said that Will won't make a complaint to police about Senator Anning or the men who held him down, nor will he take any legal action against them. Uh, Mr Gordon, who is also president of the Western Bulldogs, said that the past few days have been tough for Will and he's been overwhelmed by the support from all over the world, but that now his client needs privacy. We also learned what will happen to the $60,000 so far that has been raised online to help the Year 12 student. There have been many generous contributions to Will to support him and to pay for his legal defence. We are acting pro bono, so there are no legal expenses. And Will is committed that every cent of the money raised from the GoFundMe page go to support victims of the tragedy in Christchurch. The mural that popped up on Sunday night in Hosier Lane in the city, a tribute to Egg Boy, was actually painted over last night. Originally it was just a simple, uh, simply left blank except for the words vote Fraser. Then another group added a new message and later today that too was painted over. I spoke to the man who covered the original Egg Boy mural. He said he didn't want praise being heaped on what he said was an assault from behind. Well, the boy who egged Fraser Anning has met with police over the incident. Will Connolly's lawyer says he's been overwhelmed by messages of support from around the world. Will's family has asked me to pass on their thanks, their heartfelt thanks, to the many people who've offered their support to their teenage son. The 17-year-old says every cent of the more than $57,000 raised online to cover his legal costs will be given to victims of the Christchurch tragedy.